Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Sam Keerley and this is the Press Review. Since the Kremlin's invasion of Ukraine, there has been little Western leadership or competence when it comes to confronting Russian President Vladimir Putin. This appears to be the view of Robert Person, whose 1,300-word article titled Here's Why Putin Wants to Topple Ukrainian's Government Not to Engineer a Frozen Conflict appeared on October 6th in the Washington Post newspaper. The author disagrees with the notion circulated by some pundits and policymakers that the main goal of invading Ukraine last year is to create permafrost, much like what Russia has going on in Moldova's Transnistria and in Abkhazia and South Ossetia in Georgia. Person writes, but that is not what Russia wants in Ukraine. A frozen conflict would harm, not help, its strategic interests there. It's far more likely that the conflict will keep burning, despite formal ceasefire agreements. According to the author, the Kremlin wants change, not a stalemate. Russia has then failed to achieve its key strategic objective in Ukraine. It has not replaced the post-Maidan government with one willing to grant Russia significant influence in Ukrainian policymaking, and a frozen conflict won't help. Russia's strategic interest in Ukraine require not a frozen conflict, but an active one. A frozen conflict in Ukraine would be a major failure of Russian foreign policy. So, what is Ukraine to expect? Not war or peace, but simmering conflict. Person thinks the Kremlin probably will carefully calibrate its actions in eastern Ukraine, dialing intervention up or down as needed. Putin is unlikely to be satisfied until Kiev has a pliable pro-Russian government. Until then, Russia will keep using all the diplomatic, political, economic, social and military means it can to throw Kiev off balance. Person concludes that the new status quo will be anything but stable and anything but frozen. This has been Sam Keerley with the Press Review. Join us again tomorrow for another edition.